Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 19, Hands-On Science Experiment or Demonstration. We're talking about probability this week, so we've wrapped up our six weeks of chemistry, and our last six weeks of the school year are going to be about probability. And so we're not in Van Cleve's guide anymore. You'll take your foundations guide. And for this week, uh, you're looking at pages 263 through 265. So page 263 has a definition for probability. So you can read over that before class and, and give students uh, the definition of probability, which is the mathematical study of chance which is basically how likely something is to happen. And we'll talk more about that as well. So for um, week 19, you're doing coin toss. And so you'll need coins for your students. However you like to do it, you could have a coin for each student. You could put them in pairs, um, either way. But a coin has two sides. So this is a nickel and it has heads and it has tails and so you're going to either however in pairs or uh, on their own you're going to have the students flip a coin about 12 times and see if they get heads or tails and so on the Van Cleef's guide you can just you can give them a piece of paper you can do it on a whiteboard you can make just a little box that says heads and tails and they can put tally marks whenever they get heads or tails. I've also seen on the old CC Connected, I haven't looked on the new CC Connected, but they have sheets like this. This might Something like this might be fun for the, the younger students. You could use pennies. And this has, you know, I predict that I will get heads the most or tails the most. And they'll color it in. So on each flip of the coin, they'll color in which one they got. And they'll add them up. So that's a fun way that you can do it. Um, there's other, I think I also found this on CC Connected. You could make something like this um, on Excel or something like that. But just, they need to be able to mark, do they get heads or tails? And, and then you could add up the class all together and see what data you collect and see if you get heads or tails more often or if it's about the same. Um, so that's kind of what we want to see. We want to see if if we get one a, a lot more often or if it's about even. Um, so this sheet has you know your partner individual totals and then the class totals and then it's basically you can make a, a bar graph. Um, so have them do that and record all that data and if you want to take all of the class information together and and find the totals for that um, you'll look at that and so you'll see what did you find what did we discover what are our results and and talk about that um, to kind of talk about probability on page 265 they have this chart this line um, and it says here at the at the end this is a, a zero chance of something happening this is impossible and over here it's very certain and so with a coin toss we're kind of right here in the middle there's an even chance that we're going to get heads or tails and you'll probably find with your data that the numbers are probably pretty similar um, especially if you take the class totals you'll probably see that the amount of heads and tails was probably the same. And you can ask, okay, if I flipped it and it was heads, was it always tails the next time I flipped it? Or was it sometimes heads again? Um, those are some interesting things to talk about and think about. And so when you're looking at calculating a probability, you are, and on page 264, it's, you can make a fraction. And so it's the, your desired outcomes over your total outcomes. And so if you think about what is the probability that when I flip a coin 
it will be both heads and tails at the same time. And we know that it has to be one or the other. So there's zero chance that that's going to happen out of, that may be flipped, but zero over two um, for that scenario. Now, if I ask the question, okay, what is the probability that the coin flip will be heads or tails? And then that will give us a fraction of 2 over 2. Because our desired outcome, we don't care if it's heads or tails. So we have two possibilities out of two total possibilities. So we have a very certain chance that when I flip this coin, it's going to be either heads or tails. Now if I ask, what is the probability that it will be just heads? We're going to have a 1 up here. So that will be one, one possible outcome out of two, um, one desired outcome out of two possible outcomes. And that'll be the same for tails. So we have one that we want out of two that it can possibly be. And so that's a way to explain that. Another way I've seen it explained is you can ask them questions like, what is the probability that, um, I have a list here. What's the probability that the earth has one moon? And you say that is, that would be certain because we know that that is correct. But what is the probability that I will get a dinosaur for a pet? And that one is probably going to be a zero chance. But what about if I take a deck of cards and what is the probability that I will get a red card? So we have red and black cards. And so that probability will be one out of two. So you can ask them, okay, is this, if, if I think of something, is this going to be impossible? Is it going to be basically like no or yes? Like no, that's definitely not going to happen. Yes, that's definitely going to happen. Or somewhere in the middle like it could be yes or no um, like with the coin toss it could be either heads or tails um, if I say today I will eat food that is probably going to be a yes that's definitely going to happen if I ask will a squirrel learn to read that is probably a definite no that's not going to happen so there's cer certain things in life that we know yes that's going to happen or no, that's definitely not going to happen. And there are some things that are kind of in the middle. Could be yes or no. And so later on, we'll have another uh, experiment, hands-on uh, project, where we'll talk about what if there's more than just two uh, possible outcomes and what that looks like. But today we're just limiting it to two heads or tails, yes or no. And so um, that's what we're going to talk about today. So have fun with this one. And I will be back to talk about week 20.